One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All righty. Ready or not, sweetie, here I come. <laughs> oh, darling. 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 <laughs> Are you really hiding behind that big blue curtain in the living room? Uh, huh? Darn it. Fooey. <laughs> For a moment, I really thought I found you. Hmm. Where could you be, my sweet? Hmm. I wonder. Aha! No, 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 no. You're not behind the couch either. Almost got me again. Wait a second. Buttercup. Are you in our bedroom? Uh, apparently not. I suppose I can just sit down here. Doesn't matter if I've made the bed or not. Come on. Use that brain of yours. Where is she hiding? Where in the world? Oh, I know. Dearest. Are you hiding under the covers? Ah, foiled again. Where are you, my lovely? Perhaps under the bed? Nope. Not unless you've transformed yourself into a couple of dust bunnies. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Gosh. Sweetheart. Oh, sweetheart, if you can hear me, you're not making this easy. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Think. Think, man. There aren't many places to hide in this house. What was that? I thought I heard a noise over there. Love, are you hiding in the bathroom? Oh, silly me, it was just a leaky faucet. Let's just turn that off. Okay, let's see here. Look behind the curtains and the couch. Search the bedroom, under the covers, checked under the bed, and now in the bathroom. Where else could you be hiding, my angel? Hmm. <sighs> well, looks like I gave it my best shot. Babe, I surrender. I give up. You win. You're the hide and seek champion. And I'm starting to sound like a sore loser here, so you can come out of hiding now. Wait a minute, are you even in the house? I'll take that silence as a no. That's it. Let me just grab my shoes by the door then. And here we are. Clever girl. Think you can outsmart me hiding outside? Are you not even hiding in the house? All right, and uh, you know, it's a bit nippy outside, so. I can grab my jacket out of the closet, and here I go. <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> Found you. <laughs> Come here often? <laughs> oh, now that I've got you, little rascal. Come here. <laughs> yes, you're right. This closet would be the last place that I expect to find you. Especially since I may just fit right in here. Since it's such a tight little space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, are you blushing? I didn't know kissing you on the cheek had such effect. Or was it something I said? Or something else I did? <laughs> See what kissing those sweet, soft, delicate lips can do. Mm. Mm. <laughs> hey, well, that's 
certainly got an effect. <sighs> and certainly got a big smile out of you. <laughs> hey, you remember the first time we were shoved into a closet like this? We were at your best friend's party playing... Uh, what was that game called? Ah, uh, that's right. Thank you. Seven minutes of heaven. <laughs> Happily named, too, since those seven sexy minutes were absolute paradise for me. <laughs> hey, don't act so coy. You know what I'm talking about. Well, your friend clearly wanted to mess with us, because she thought it was funny stuffing the two of us into her closet for her amusement. <laughs> and I'm glad you weren't claustrophobic. <laughs> At the time, it was awkward. I mean, we didn't really know each other all that well. Yeah, we didn't do much at first either. Didn't we just start talking about school and work? And <laughs> how tiny and cramped that closet was? <laughs> oh, man. Little did your friend know what she'd be walking into seven minutes later. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember. And it was my best attempt, too. I asked if I could kiss you. You shyly nodded. <laughs> and I gave you a little peck on the forehead, like this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and then a kiss on the hand. And another trailing up the forearm. Mm -hmm. I think I must have been really trying to be romantic, because after trailing up the arm just a little bit more and more, <laughs> and right as I noticed how red your cheeks were turning, I gave you just a little kiss on the cheek, like that. room was, maybe because our bodies were so close together that one thing led to another, <laughs> and I had you <coughs> pinned up against that wall like so, hair disheveled and panting, begging. Since that day, I've been blessed to get to know all of you, your passions, interests, and pet peeves, to your wonderful family, and just what makes you tick. The good and the bad, truly. I feel like I'm in heaven with you. Every day I'm with you. <laughs> and you are truly my better half. Now, it's your turn to close your eyes, count to ten, and come find me. 